Hello guys, welcome to the video demo of Air Replay NG. Air Replay NG is a part of Aircrack suite of products. Aircrack has developed some handy tools which will assist us for cracking the web key. Air Replay NG is a part of it. Air Replay NG is a very important tool which assists web cracking and makes the whole process very fast. Before going into details about Air Replay NG, what all options it supports, how to run Air Replay NG, first let's see the process of cracking the web key. For cracking the web key, the very important thing that you should know is the AP whose web key is to be cracked. The AP's MAC address is its SSID, its channel and other configuration you have to find out. As well, some client has to be associated with the AP or otherwise you have to actively associate some client with the AP. Once you know the MAC of AP and the MAC of associated clients, you have the basic ingredients to start the packet capture. You have to capture all the packets which are coming from the AP or which are coming to the AP from one of the clients. Here comes the beauty of Aircrack NG suite of products. It provides AeroDump tool to capture the packets and to save the packets. Air Replay NG actually assists us to capture and replay back the packets. Now, to crack the web key, we need lots and lots of packets with weak IVs. Now, what is IV and where it actually contains? You can probably watch the videos of wireless packets and IEEE 802.11 protocol to know what exactly IV and what exactly weak IV is. In short, IV is an initialization vector which is a part of packet and to crack the web key, lots of such packets are required. One simple way to crack the web key will be just wait and watch all the packets which are getting transferred between AP and client, capture all those packets and then run air crack ng on those packets to crack the web key. But it will be a very slow process as we are not doing anything actively. Whatever client is actually transferring to AP, transferring to AP that itself we are capturing. So it will be inherently slow process to accelerate this process. A simple thing that we can do is to re-inject packets again and again. Air Replay NG does the same thing. It actually captures the packet and then re-injects that packet again and again in hope of the response from the other party. So if we capture a packet which is from AP to client and re-inject that packet again and again, client should respond to that packet and every time client responds, it responds with new initialization vector and our aim of generating lots of packets with new IVs is served. So in short, Air Replay NG captures the packet and re-injects the packet. But as I said, this is not very simple process. While capturing and re-injection, you have to be very specific which packet exactly you want to capture and which exactly packet you want to re-inject and if possible, you want to change some contents or some fields of that packet so that web cracking will be even more faster. Air Replay NG provides these both kinds. First is the filtering. Filtering will actually filter the packets of only of our interest. And second is reinjection. While reinjection, if we are able to change some fields, it will be of much help. Air Replay NG gives both of these things. Let's see the usage of Air Replay NG. If I type Air Replay NG, I will be able to see the usage. Usage is actually very simple. It's Air Replay NG options and the replay interface. The capture interface and replay inter interface will be probably the same. You can do the cap you can do capture either from the interface as well as Air Replay NG provides the option of file. I mean the input will be taken from the file. Now as it is seen, there are many options. First are the filter options. As I have just now explained, all these filter options will be used while capturing the packets. 
Second is the replay options. All these replay options will be actually used while re-injecting of re-injection of the packet. And there are some attack modes. Uh, what exactly this attack mode? I will eventually tell you when you are supposed to use which attack. <laughs> that is actually very ingenious decision and I will explain how to choose the correct attack at correct time. In between these source options are the options I, ju I just now explained. If you want to capture the packets from the interface, you can use minus I interface option, capture packets from the interface. And if you want to use some pre-captured file as an input to Air Replay NG, Air Replay NG does provide that thing as well. With minus R file option, you can actually give the input as a file. 